What's up, Mooch Crew? It's Alan Macholi here, and welcome back to NASCAR 14. We are here at Dover International Speedway, my home track, getting ready for the FedEx 400 benefiting Autism Speaks. Okay, so the race length has, so the AI difficulty has always 60%. Practice and qualifying, I will be doing that off camera. Race length is going to be 80 laps. Tower and field use times one. Caution, the black flag is on. Full damage and failure. Full damage and failures, I'm going to accept those changes. I will be racing my hot CNC car. Looks really great. Last week we went to Charlotte Motor Speedway and the Coca-Cola 600, where I pulled off my fourth win of the season. It was a really good race, it was a really great time, as I took the lead in the final 14 laps and just never looked back. Alright guys, I will be back after practicing and qualifying, so I will see you guys in a snap. Alright, I am back and I am starting second, so here is a look at the top 10 starters for this race. Matt Kenseth and I will start on the front row, AJ Allmendinger and Brad Keselowski start second, Greg Biffle, Casey Kane start third, Kevin Harvick and Ryan Newman start fourth. Rounding out the top 10 in row 5 will be Paul Menard and Joey Logano. Okay, let's go racing here in the Monster Mile, my home track for the 50th year of Dover International Speedway in NASCAR. Okay, so this is a home track race, so this means a lot to me. I have yet to even win here. I want to win so badly here in Dover. I just got to go through Truex to get it first. And here we are in Dover, Delaware. Here at the Monster Mile, getting ready for the FedEx 400. Better for the Autism Speaks. Going to be a great day of racing. There is the... There's the Dover Road. Anyway, at least part of it. It's 43 cars on pit road. There you see the back runners. Now you see the front runners. Okay, Matt Kenseth on the pole position in his Toyota. I start second in my Chevrolet. Starting third is A.J. Allmendinger in his Chevrolet. And Brad Keselowski starts fourth in his Ford with Greg Biffle's Ford rounding up the top five. Okay. And there's Miles the Monster. No trophy for the race winner here at Dover National Speedway. I want that trophy so bad. This would mean the world to me to win. First, we've got to get that thumbnail. Beautiful. 41 cars behind me. Should be a good race. Let's just hope nothing bad happens. Cross your fingers and hope this game isn't bullshit. Pace car is in. Green flags in the air and away we go. We are racing in Dover National Speedway for the 15th year of NASCAR. Or at least the uh, 75th year of NASCAR, I should say. Or 71st. 50, 50 years of Dover of NASCAR Rizzi at Dover. Alright, off turn number four to complete lap number one. Matt Kenseth leads over AJ Allminger and Greg Biffle. As I am trying to hold off Kevin Harvick for fourth, and I do without a problem. Car's actually pretty good. Car's actually pretty good. I like it. It's kind of loose. Not too loose where I'm like fighting it every fucking lap. That's good news, so. Alright, up to third. Chasing down Almendinger and Kenseth. Okay, well, I gotta figure out which lane I'm gonna go with. Okay, Almendinger's still looking to the inside of Kenseth. Nothing there. So, I'm gonna dive low. They get three one for the lead, and I'll bring them both, and Kenseth will take the lead here, but that's okay. And I'll get the run off four! Oh, side by side! Okay! Oh, and Almanager turns me! Okay, okay, almost, and I made a bonsai move for glory, and I almost had it. And then I got sandwiched, and then I and then pinched Kenseth up into the wall, came down the and then it just was on from there. I think Kenseth will be, will be holding the lead for this one. Oh, God, look at that damage. That could kill my race. Oh, God. My car is going... This is going to fuck my race up, isn't it? Oh, God. Oh god, it's gonna be one of those races, isn't it? Actually, what if I stay out? I mean, it's early enough for me to stay out. 
So Matt Kenseth, AJ Hominger, are going to be row one, row two, Greg Biffle and Kevin Harvick, row three, Denny Hale and Jeff Gordon, row four, Austin Dillon, Jamie McMurray rounding out the top ten in row five. For this restart will be Casey Kane and Brad Keselowski. I'm going to restart 37th, not bad. Could be better, could be worse. I prefer it to be better, but not. What am I going to do about it? Bakers can't be choosers. All right, pace car is in. Green flying back in the air, and Matt Kenseth will lead us to the green flag once again here in the FedEx 400, benefiting Autism Speaks. Oh, boy, what the hell are you doing? Oh, boy, I deserve that one. And I was sliding so damn loose off of turn two. And thank you, Boyer, for being an asshat and trying to make a dipshit move. Because of you, I'm all the way back in 23rd. When I was, like, in the top 30. When I get to Boyer, I'm spinning his ass out. I don't care what people say. Okay, watch Landing Castle. Alright, to the inside. Running. And... We are clear. Okay, we're going to start making moves. We're going to be methodical about each and every move I make. Oh, hey, actually, oh, hey, I actually made a 24, 22.4 second lap. Nice. And it's a, yeah, it's a new personal best for this track. Sweet. Huh. Just no one's going to touch that lap. Oh, God. And I'm spinning off because I got into the back of Yaley. And bullshit. Did I get, did I wash up the racetrack? Nope. Yeah, I was actually going up the racetrack. But then again, that was my line. I go, I go down, I go up. I go down, I slide up a little bit. It would be fine. But no, Yaley had to be right there. Dumbass. I will take Fuller Stonson. I, I blame Yaley for that, for being in my lane. Biffle, Hamlin, row one, row two, A.J. Omninger, Joey Logano, Ryan Newman, Carl Edwards, row three, row four, Kevin Harvick, Trevor Bain. Rounding out the top ten in row five will be Brad Kozlowski and Austin Dillon. I'm going to be restarting 38th. Okay. Again, not bad. Could be better. Hey, stars in. And Greg Biffle will be leading us to the green flag this time. Here we go. Getting ready. Green flag is back in the air, and we are back underway here in the FedEx 400, benefiting Autism Speaks, and whoa, Jesus! Okay, 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 that restart was awful. Okay, Denny Hamlin's will leave. Oh, got it. Yikes. Ooh, kept it off Larson somehow. Good job. All right, first lap of this restart, Denny Hamlin pulling away. Got the fastest car out here, and I'm like 42nd. Oh, jeez. Hey, that's a few right for getting in my lane, you... For getting in my way, you dipshit. Clarkman deserved that. That was an absolute... That was an absolute bump and run on my part. Hey. Also, Clickerman came down across my nose, and I and I wasn't having any of it. So he so he had it coming. About the 41st. Clickerman's way off pace, no surprise there. Alright. Alright, absolute absolutely flat around this racetrack in 40th. Not too not too shabby, but this car isn't too shabby. It's not bad. It could be better. Ryan Newman's leading this race right now. Alright, just gotta Concentrate. Put the pedal to the metal. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. On the base here. Alright. 13 laps down. Or at least 12 down. Alright. Newman continuing to lead here. Alright. Let's see here. Just gotta be methodical about this. Alright, not exactly methodical, but I can figure out a methodical movie. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep going, alright. Hmm. 
Oh, shut the race track a little bit. Okay, give Yaley a lot of room because I just do not want to deal with anyway right now. Okay, good launch off two. Then we get side by side with Yaley for 38th, and I will take 38th. Okay, so doing that too shabby right now. Here on this restart, as we are about to complete lap 14. Alright. Alright, need to check the me off pit road. Alright, let's go. Okay, give me the inside. Okay, Castle's gonna look to the inside as well. Alright, okay, let's... Okay, watch the... Okay, stay high. We're clear. Line up behind Yaley, I guess. Oh, jeez, we got smokers. I'm guessing those that was just higher up. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God. That could have ended in disaster. Alright. Newman is like seven seconds ahead. So we gotta start going. Okay, car approaching high. Alright, clear high. Good work. Okay, let's just start mowing. Let's start methodically working my way through this field. Maybe we'll get, maybe we'll get a, into a round of green flag stops as well in the process. Alright, 17 laps in. Newman's continuing to lead here. Meanwhile, oh jeez, I that got into the way of Kenza. I'm gonna get by Kenza without a problem, and I'm gonna bring yours with me. Huh, nice. Alright, let's keep going, because right now, this race isn't doing too, we're not doing too shabby. Alright, just pounding on the door on the top 35 at least. Okay, let's let Kenseth go by. He's pretty good. Okay, meanwhile, 8 seconds between me and Ryan Newman. Down low. Cars everywhere on this racetrack, dude. Cars everywhere. Okay, brush the wall a bit, but that's not going to hurt you. Not going to hurt too much. I'm in the top 35 now. That's good news. Rolling high. Just going to stay rolling high. Okay, cars inside. Holy shit. Actually, holy shit, I'm actually about to make the top 30 again. Holy shit, I haven't been here in a while. Holy fucking shit. Ooh, three back coming low? That's my not coming low. Ooh, goodbye. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see here. Don't do anything stupid. Alright, 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 we're good. Swing low. Goodbye. Holy shit, I'm like 30 seconds now. Okay, why are we three wide? And why am I in the middle of it? Okay. Okay, I did not pinch Amarola, um, just to let you all know. But I did get, uh, Gillen lose enough to slip by for 30, for 31st, so that's good. And guess who followed me through? Amarola! Um, Let's see if Amarola um, follows me through with my true life. Okay. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Just know I did not finish them up the racetrack. I know it's one big of came down at least a half lane. Okay. Okay, well, at least. Oh, yeah, every position is like one point each, so. So every position matters going into this chase as Ryan Newman continues to lead. Okay, brush. We washed up the racetrack. Not too bad, though. Okay, I'm only going to lose one spot, though, so not too hard of a penalty. We're washing up the racetrack, cleared her, cleared Kenza, gave Bernard a bump, a light tap at least, so it wasn't exactly like, get out of my way, and or I put you out of my way, just let him know I was there. Alright, and hey, guess what, 20, 29, hell fucking yeah, let's go, top three. Okay, Bernard, dude, uh, let's talk, my car is way faster than yours, so uh, do me a favor and stay the fuck out of my way, and stay the fuck behind me. All right, let's go. Newman's like 11 seconds ahead. We got work to do. Oh yeah, I'm working my way to the front slowly but surely. All right, let's keep going. We got a bottle of cars in front of us. Or at least I have a bottle of cars in front of me. Oh, caution out, caution out, caution out! I was not part of it. Thank God, fucking guys. Oh, jeez, that happened in front of me though. Okay, I'm gonna get involved in this one. Maybe. No, 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 no. Oh, I almost avoided it, and then I got into the back of Biffle, into the side of Biffle. God fucking damn it. And Biff, did Biffle spin out by himself? Did Biffle spin out by himself? Oh, Trevor Bain went for a flip. I don't know, for wheels. And this is where I come in. You see, I'm right there. And then, bop. Right there, just, bleh. 
So yeah, so I got involved after, after I nearly had it avoided, and then Ethel was there, and I didn't have time to react. I'm gonna pit. So this actually worked out quite well. 25 laps in, Ryan Newman leads, Larson's 25th, I'm 26th, Menar 27th. Look at how beaten and battered this race car is. This side looks fine. But when you get to this side, oh good god, it's awful. Alrighty then, well, one of those days. Just fall to the back, work my way through the field again. You can do it. Let's just hope the damage doesn't affect the race car. If it does, we got a problem. It shouldn't, but I hope it... It shouldn't, and I hope it doesn't, but it might. Alright, cars are on pit road. A lot of us are going on down pit road. New and staying out like an ass hat. Okay, let's do that. Don't do anything with that. Yes, repair the cars. Splash with fuel. That should top us off. That's all good. Everything else is good. Okay. Mm -mm. And my control disconnected. Okay. Oh, no. Not did I want that. Okay. No. Back. No. Back. Oh, God damn. Okay. I just set the controller down and then it just, the next thing I know, it just disconnects on me. Well, let's just hope that doesn't become a recurring theme. Okay. Am I going into this, into the, going into, into my pit box for the, so my team can service the car. Here we go. First step of the race. off pit road, and here we go. Lined up behind David Reagan. Ryan Newman and Crow Edwards will be in the front row. Row 2, Jamie McMurray, A.J. Allmendinger in row 3, Jimmy Johnson, Tony Stewart, row 4, Michael Walter, and David Rubin. Clint Bourne and Palmer are rounding out the top 10, and I'm going to be restarting 29th, so not too bad, and Parker Pickering got the free pass. All right, pace cars back in. Ryan Newman continuing to be a hard ass out front. All right, pace cars in, and green flag is going to fly right back to the air here on lap 27. We are back underway here in the FedEx 400, benefiting Autism Speaks. As someone on the outside line did not get going, I'll just take all these all these pretty positions. All right, Carl Edwards and Ryan Newman racing hard for the lead. Get off the apron. Oh, jeez. Mm. Oh, I boxed, my, I boxed myself up on the outside, but hey, I'm in the top 20. Okay, let's get out of this mess. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, 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 ow. Brush, tap the wall. That wasn't a light tap, that was more like a bop. Oh, Jesus Christ, I had the channel so I didn't spit right out. Oh, Jesus Christ, that cost me all my, that cost me my top 20 position. Okay, got into the back of Trevor Bean. Somehow held on to my car. Kept it going straight. Okay, okay, why are we here? Oh, God, what were you doing? You true eggs, you dipshit. I will have you know that was all Truex. I was, I was, I was doing, I was just running my line, and Truex just spun me out. My and Truex, here's my middle finger to you. And that started with Cole Witt, so technically Cole Witt started this whole fucking mess. So, yeah. I'm gonna take I'm gonna put Cole Wood on this one. Why? Because Cole Wood's an ass man. I'm going to stay out. Alright, A gentlemen in your palm in our row one, row two, Casey Kane and Kyle Larson, row three, David Reagan, Jeff Gordon, row four, Kevin Harvick, Trevor Bain, rounding out the top ten in row five, Kyle Bush and Cole Witt. That dipshit made the top is in the top ten, what the fucking hell? I'm 21st. Not bad. Danica Patrick got the free pass. Alright. AJ Allendier is going to lead us back to the green flag with Paul Menard to his outside. Pace cars in. Green flag is back in the air. We are back underway here in the FedEx 400 benefiting Autism Speaks. And once again, someone did not get going on the outside. As I'll go back inside the top 20 again. Convenient. Oh, Paul Menard took the lead away from, uh, from A.J. Omnir. Oh, okay, okay, I, okay, I deserve that one. I deserve that one. Pinched up, I pinched up Austin Dillon. 
I finished Austin Dillon off the racetrack, put him in the wall. Very cheap. Oh, got out of that without taking any more damage. But yeah, I, I came off the racetrack, pinched Austin Dillon, pinched Larson, Dillon turned me, so I deserve that one. And then even Chevy Merrick and Patrick slapped me, and then Tony's, and then everyone else just kind of stacks up, and I'm just like, Ugh. I'm 36 now. Uh, I'm going to stay out this time around. Paul Menard and Jeff Gwynn, row 1, row 2, Casey Kane, Kevin Harvick, row 3, Kyle Bush and Greg Piffle, row 4, Dale Jr., Ricky Stenhouse Jr., David Gillen, and Austin, and Austin Dillon round out the top 10. I'm going to be restarting... Uh, 36. Okay. Damn, I was 15th at that point. That sucks. Oh, well. We can get back there. I got a fast car. All right, pace car rolls in. Green flag back in the air. We are back on the way here in the FedEx 400, benefiting Autism Speaks. As, of course, they're going to pinch me up onto the outside lane. Oh, God. Who the fuck did not get going on the outside lane? You asshat. There was a gas pedal there for a reason. Use it, and I'm sliding loose all of a sudden. Okay, off turn two. We're Okay, kept it solid. Aside from that. Oh god, now I'm sliding loose. I should have should have pitted underneath that last yellow flag. Now I'm starting to slide all slip slide all over the place. God damn it, I would hate my decisions. Alright, let's just hope to god we can actually make do with what we got right now. Okay. Okay, held up. Kyle Bush is leading right now. Oh, jeez, slid up the just absolute wash up in turn four. Okay, just gotta hold the race car down. Just hold the line, hold the line, hold the line. Okay, we're good in turn. We're good in turn two. Okay, so it wasn't too bad of a decision. It just slid up. Is that absolute? But that was an absolute scare for me. Okay, we're up to 37th. We gotta start working our way through this field. And by we, I mean my team and I. Alright, let's go by Josh Wise and got him. He was 39th anyway, but. Alright. 36 laps on the board. Kyle Busch continues to lead here, so we're 35 laps in. Kyle Busch leads on roll 36. I'm chasing him down in th for 30s and 37th. I'll go by him easily. All right. Now that I've actually gotten back into the rhythm, my car's actually um, actually not doing too bad. Oh God, dang it, Patrick just took my lane away, you dipshit. Okay, I'm gonna go by her on the back stretch anyway, so. Oh, do not hit. Okay, I just tapped through. I did not want to spin them out. I'm up to 34th. Oh, uh, not yet. Now I'm in 34th. Alright. Truex is in 33rd. I'll go by him. I'll get by him at least. Hooray. Okay, Annette. Why are you slowing up in there? God damn. Okay, get out of my lane. Okay. Well, at least I didn't put Kligerman in the wall, so that's good news. Okay. Beep beep. Coming through. Thank you. Alright, Michael Waltrip's in 30th, so if I can take the 30th away from him, that'd be great. Okay. Okay, we're in the middle of a hard fought battle. Kyle pushed six seconds ahead of me, but we got by Michael Waltrip, but I'm back in the top 30. It only took us like almost half the damn race to actually get us solid to get to, get, to draw how good this car is once again, so. I'm just kind of stalking the Ambrose for the moment. Alright, next time by, we'll be completing halfway. Kirk Bush in 28. Ooh, Ambrose in the wall. Did not mean to brush and put him up there. I just got to his side bump, to his side, and made contact with him. So my bad. Halfway through this race, I'm in 29th, Kurt Busch 28th, Joey Logano 27th, and then Kyle Busch is leading this race. Good 
appears to be Jimmy Johnson in 26, so... so we got some really good, we got some really stout race cars in, in front of us. And some really heavy chase contenders in front of us. Oh, jeez, who is that sliding, sliding out of line? Okay, rolling to turn one. I got a second, I got a 1.3 second gap between me and Truex. Well, 1.2 and dropping now, but that's because I took it easy in that turn. Coming off of turn two. I seem to make, I seem to get, put, put the gap down in three and four. So I'm doing a lot better in one and two, and three and four than I am in one and two. Yeah, you see how he's making up time on me over in, over here in turns one and two? That means he's got a better line than me in one and two, and I gotta figure out what lane it is. Oh god, I get into the back bumper of Logano because fuck you. Oh Jesus Christ, Jordan Bush! Okay, Sammy! Okay, we're good. But that did allow Truex to close right back up on me, so. Let's get going here. Ow! Okay. And my top 30 run is gone. As I can't keep the car off the wall. Okay, fourth. Question number six is out, so thank God it'll be a chance to get another stop under us. Oh, Ambrose punted me into the wall, and then I just slow up. And yeah. Yeah. I was trying to save it from, from that first half that happened earlier that the game didn't show. And then it was just Ambrose behind me and I didn't notice it, didn't know it, and he just had me up the race into the wall and I just slowed up rapidly. Before that, my car was absolutely great. I was flying around top 30. I had top 30 run going, but no, I can't have nice things. Fuck that shit, I guess. This game is absolutely retarded. I have a great car and I can't go anywhere with it. That's a bullshit. At least, we had, at least we had a solid green flag run, so... And I proved I had the car to do, to make, it, to make an attack. Get a few laps under it all after a restart when we're in it. It's a rocket ship, man. Okay, so this is also me wanting an inside restart spot. A uh, spot on the rest on the no, an inside line restart spot here, okay. That's what I'm trying to say. I want an in uh, restart I want to restart on the inside line so I can actually not be in the outside line when someone spins the tires and I can just cruise on by. It's a good way to leapfrog positions, actually. <laughs> Those who do not get going, I take their spots. Huh. Look at that. The wall has five hour energy on it, and yet Clinton Boris car can't have five hour energy on the hood or the side panels. It's absolute bullshit. Mm -hmm. Good lord, look how beaten and battered this race car is. Hood damage, side damage, you name it, it's probably got it. And somehow I've kept the back bumper mostly clean. Okay, Jeff Gordon, Trevor Bain, row one, row two, Jimmy McMurray, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., row three, Carl Edwards and Austin Dillon, row four, Jimmy Johnson, David Rudiman. Rounding out the top ten in row five, David Gillen and Denny Hamlin. Where am I restarting? 38th. Damn it. Alright. Oh god, I'm in the I'm in the lane I did not want to be in. In other words, I got fucked. Alright, pace car's in. Jeff Gordon leads us to the green flag. It is back in the air. We are back on the way here in the FedEx 400, benefiting Autism Speaks. And as I predicted, someone did not get going on the inside. Outside, man. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Alright, Jeff Gordon leads the way here on this one. On this restart, I should say. Oh, God. Hello, Elmanir. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
Oh god, why are we doing this? Why, 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 why? Okay. Let me in, let me in, thank you. Oh god. Why are we doing this? And I'm going for a spin. Ow! Oh god. That was harsh. I just clipped the apron, come up into the boyer, spin out, and then I just slapped the inside wall. At least I kept it out of, out of race traffic for the, for the rest of it, so that's good. God damn, though. I'm gonna stay out and see what happens. Jeff Gordon and Carl Edwards, row one, row two, Austin Dillon, David Ruderman, row three, Cole Witt and Kyle Larson, row four, Matt Kinsick and Kingston Nears. Riding out the top ten, row five, Michael Waltrip, the hell. And Parker Clearman. I hate this game sometimes. This game has no absolute logic. Why am I restarting anyway? 26, oh god, I'm gonna get fucked again. I pit, I restart on the inside, on the outside lane, I'm fucked. Mm. Actually, I kinda got myself, I'm fucked. I decided to stay out this time. Oh hey, now we're not restarting the outside lane. Guess what, I'm fucked this. Whoever does fuck did not just decide not to get going again. I think I was on there that time. But once I get down the inside line, I'm fine, and I just go oh, like, see ya! Oh boy, oh lordy, they're crashing behind me! And to be fair, I pinched Tony Stewart up into the wall, so I will take responsibility for that one. See, I just got loose, I go up the racetrack, and then I get into Tony Stewart, he gets into Danica Patrick, and it just kind of goes from there. Yelling in the wall. I probably just bit the, I probably just ran the, um, the dog's cage, if you know what I mean. And by rattle the dog's cage, I mean Tony Stewart. You do not want to mess with him. Alright, Carl Edwards and Kyle Larson, row one, row two, Casey Mears and Austin Dillon, row three, Matt Kenseth and Michael Waltrip. Fuck you, game. Joey Logano and Craven Harvick, fourth, David Rudiman and Parker Cleveland round out the top ten. I'm going to restart 18th. Uh, third restart in a row, I'm getting fucked. Oh boy, this is not going to, this is not going to go well. Actually, I think if I let, if I can get in front of McMurray, or if McMurray, if I can let McMurray get by me. Okay, green flying back in the air here in the, uh, FedEx 400 benefiting autism speed, says I did not get going on that restart. And now I'm flying backwards, God, let me on the inside, let me in, oh, God, fuck, damn it, God, fuck you, fuck you, whoever spun me out, fuck you, whoever that was that spun me out, fuck you. I did not get going at all. That was an awful restart. Oh, that was Jeff Gordon. <laughs> Jeff Gordon, my, my former favorite driver. And then I get spun out by him. Cool. I say former because Jeff Gordon retired in 2015. I'm gonna stay out and see what happens. Kyle Larson, Carl Edwards, row one, row two, Matt Kenseth, Casey Mears, row three, Joey Logano, and Austin Dillon, row four, Michael Waltrip, and Kevin Harvick. Row 5, David Roman and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Am I restarting? 39th. Oh, good. I get to avoid the, um, the outside line fiasco. Good. Good for me. At least that's a positive. Alright, pace cars in here on lap 55 of 80. Green flag is back in there. We are back on the way here in Dover International Speedway for the FedEx 400 benefiting on autism speeds. And just as I thought, someone did not get going on that outside line. Ha! And that's why I did not want to be out on that. And that's why I did not want to be on the outside line. Okay, Kyle Bush, you dipshit. Get out of my lane. Okay, let's just start. Let's just try and rattle him off and move this field as methodically as possible. Alright, next time we'll get a yellow flag, I'm gonna pit. Probably gonna regret that as the yellow flag will probably come out, like, almost immediately after I say that. Okay, Ken's up to the lead over to Larson right now. Oh god, why is there this, why is this Hornet's Nest here? Why are they, why are they pack racing here at Dover? Oh god, Keselowski! At least I saved it. But damn, Keselowski. me to do that. I was on the apron, so uh, I really didn't have any choice. 
Larson back to the point. That's good. Oh, God. Derek the Patrick, slow car. Get the fuck out of my way. Ass hat. God fucking damn it. Okay. Now yeah, we just gotta start working our way through this road and try and get a top 30 finish. Alright, let's go, let's go. Alright, up to 39th at least, so... Oh gosh, and barely cleared him. Alright. Just barely cleared him. Just, my god. I don't know what I'm doing differently in 3 and 4 that allows me to get a gap on everybody, but... I can't just... I just cannot do anything in 1 and 2, like... Speak of... No! Oh, God! No! Fuck you! Dipshit! Okay, to be fair, I pinched him up, but still... I mean, the reason is nearly spinning out and put me in the outside wall. Inside wall, I meant. Oh, good God, this race is almost over. Thank, hol thank the holiest of deities, it's almost done. I swear, if I had, like, any more laps than 80, I probably wouldn't be, like, demoralized. Actually, if I had more than 80 laps, then I'd probably have a chance. A slim chance, maybe, but it'd be a chance nonetheless. Alright, let's go. Alright, to the inside. Alright. Up to 38, so... Slap the outside wall, god damn it. <sighs> Absolutely I had to shake the car off so it's really good to actually like, you know do things. God damn it. Stop hitting the outside wall. This car's already beaten better as it is. Cannot stay off that outside wall. Alright, make the methodical pass this one. Race smart, not hard. If we get into a long green flag run, this could actually shake everything up, and I could cycle my way to the lead. If I stop playing off, if I can actually stop hitting the wall, that'd be great. Unless all those cautions we had earlier negated all the negates fuel strategy. Because I'm good to go to the end, probably. Well, I'm not sure about that one yet, but we'll see. Oh, nearly hit the wall there on the outside line. Just trying to go after Kligerman right now. Oh god, why is ruining my tailpipes? Who the fuck away? I don't want to deal with you. I'm already having a, a rough race as it is. Alright, gotta run off four though, so... Good news, we've actually shook him off a little bit. And we close down on Kligerman. The inside! Oh god! Almost made a move on him. At this point, I can only hope that fuel strategy is going to come into play. I'm good. I should be good to go on fuel, but I'm not sure. But because of all these damn cautions we had in the. up to this point.
Alright, rolling off. Turn four. Across the stripe. Alright, and I'm chasing I'm chasing down Josh Wise from 35th at this point. So if I can get out of here with a top 35 finish, at least it'll be something. Final 11 laps, though. Kenseth is going to win this race, unfortunately. So. Just another home track race that I don't win. Who fucking really? I'm like 0 for 8 on these. On these godforsaken Dover races. So unless, like... The everyone from 35th on forward, like, does not have enough fuel to make it to the end, which I doubt they don't, because I'm assuming they do. I will not be coming out of here with a with a top 20 finish. I would, at best I'll be coming out of here with like maybe a 25th. Just. God, fuck this race. Ow. That perfectly sums up how this race has gone for me. I'm dead inside. Ooh, brushed the wall a little bit there, but I've been too major. Can keep going. Yeah, Kenseth is like 13 seconds ahead of me, 14 seconds ahead of me. There's no way I'm going to catch him. So at this point, the plan is just to, um, Pick up as many spots as I can and try and minimize the damage that I will be taking in the points. That's that's basically the plan at this point. Each position each pos each position on the track is one point, so just make up as many spots as I can, hopefully maybe get a top 30 out of this. If we can get a top 30, that should be enough to keep me inside the top 30 in points. Well, who am I kidding? I'm like way ahead of that 30th place cut line, so at worst, I should, I could probably only drop a few positions in points. Five, maybe. Who knows? I'm absolutely catching these cars right now. Just I don't have enough time to catch Kenzo, unfortunately. Who right now is working his way to take four to go this time by. He just crossed that stripe. Racing into turn one, so that so the start finish line is a good point of reference. All right, as I get my Ryan Truex for thirty third. All right, I might come out of here with at least something, with something, with something to show for, for this beaten, for this godforsaken race gone. All right, Kenseth has taken two to go this time, three to go this time by, so he's completed seventy seven laps. I'm coming around to complete my 77th lap. He's halfway down the back stretch. Yeah, I don't. I just don't have enough laps to catch him. If I had just a few more laps with this race car, mm, God, I could have caught him. And I slapped the outside wall, and I just get spun out by Tony Stewart because I slapped the outside wall by Alvin. My checkered and that Kendrick just got fucked. Yeah, I was working Paul Menardo, and then I brushed the outside wall. Tony Stewart just comes running right into me because he doesn't have time to hit the brakes. And then Truex comes out of nowhere, two bones on the nice side, and yeah, basically that was his race. Mm -hmm. All right, let's pit. Because I know for sure Tony Stewart's probably not going to pit. I think a lot of drivers are going to pit, but that's just me. I don't know. So I'm going to take fuel, tires, and should be able to repair the damage. I do not have a short run car. I have a long run car. But on the restarts, someone's going to stack up, so whatever, whatever happens, happens. Let's just hope to God I don't, I'm not on the outside line. Yes, Tony Stewart is pitting, Parker Clipman's pitting. Why is Ryan Truex doing that? That's just a bad move on his part. Alright, four tires. Yes. Splash. 
Alright, so the fuel question, so the question of if everyone's going to have enough fuel to make it to the finish is out the window at this point. Even if it wasn't, even if it wasn't questioned earlier, it probably got thrown out thanks to those cautions that we had earlier. And where are we racing next? Um, oh god, we got Poker next week. I'm so not looking forward to that race. Oh boy. Okay. Pace car is in. No, actually, pit stop is done, and we're down the way. Matt Kenseth to a Logano, row 1, row 2, Jamie McMurray, Jimmy Johnson, row 3, Casey Kane and Kyle Larson, row 4, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Clint Boyer, row 5, Eric Almola and Dale Jr. Where am I going to be restarting? Outside, 38th, Fodden. Alright, let's see what the plan here is. Do I try and get ahead of... Casey Mears and then slide between him and Tony Stewart and whoever is on the in inside line gets fucked up and outside line gets fucked up. Oh, we got pull that actually worked. That actually worked. Lanny Castle did not get going. Green flag back in the air. We're back on the way. Logano takes the lead. Actually, I might have a little bit of a short run car here, maybe. We'll see. As I bat out of hell to the like top three. Hell yeah. Oh, it's like a bad idea. Oh, boy, hello, Colwick. Goodbye, Colwick. That's going to bring out the second green line checker. <laughs> man. Yeah, I came in too fast. I hit, I tried to get, I missed, I was, I came in like flying like a bad out of hell. Got, tried to hit the brakes, just couldn't, didn't have enough time to slow up the cold wood. And spun around. Okay, let's stay out. See what happens. Joe Legon on that. Kenseth, row one. Row two, Kyle Larson, Jamie McMurray. Row three, Casey King, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Row four, Greg Buffalo, Jimmy Johnson, Clint Boyer, and Kurt Busch round out the top five. The top ten in row five. I'll be restarting 23rd. So if I can come out of here with at least a top 20 finish, that'd be nice. Holy crap, I'm going to do it with this beaten up race car. Holy shit, that's amazing. All right, Joe Legon and Matt Kenseth. Oh, they're great friends. On the front row. Green flag back in there. We're back in the way. Ooh, Harvey did not get going. Goodbye. I'll get a top 20 out of this. Hell yeah. I like that. We'll get a top 15 out of this. That'd be nice. Like I said, every point, every position counts. Oh, Kasowski. Onto the wall. Contact. Saves it somehow. Unbelievable. And speaking of unbelievable, Trevor Baines here. Oh, jeez, I'm sliding all over. I'm sliding loose. Mm. Okay, white flag in the air. Final lap here in Dover. As I go for a spin, and my wrist just got fucked over because I spun out. I'm a full lap ahead of Joe Nemechek, though, so... Casey Kane's leading. That's good for him. I just gotta take it easy until my tires cool off. God damn, I had a top pick. I had a... I almost had a, I almost had this race. Or at least I almost had a decent finish in this race, and I spin out again. Out. Casey Kane won this race, so good for him. God damn, I'm 41st. Oh Jesus Christ! Just cannot keep it off the. Ugh. I'm dead inside. That was atrocious. Un fucking believable. I'll just give you a top ten and we'll call it a day. What do you say about that? Works for me because I'm dead inside. Fastest car in this race. I don't even need a fucking lap. Unbelievable. Casey Kane wins this race. Joe Legano finishes second. Matt Kim's a third. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. fourth. Kyle Larson fifth. Greg Biffle sixth. Clint Boyer seventh. Eighth, Jamie McMurray. Ninth, Jimmy Johnson. Jeff Gordon rounds out the top ten. We don't even need to bother with all these guys. They don't matter. And there I am in 41st. At least I finished ahead of... At least I didn't finish last. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this race. I will be back with the points standings. So don't go anywhere. Nor am I left. I probably took a big hit in the points. Well... I knew it was going to be bad, I just didn't think it was going to be that bad.
Oh god, the 41st place finish in Dover drops me to 16th, but at least I have four wins, so I'm safe. At least Austin Dillon now be on the cut line. Let's take a look at the top 16 points. Casey Kane now takes the lead in points thanks to his win in, in Dover. Jimmy Johnson second. Clint Boyer third, Kevin Harvick fourth, Kazowski fifth, Brian Vicker sixth, seventh, Greg Biffle eighth, Dale Jr. ninth, Jeff Gordon tenth, Montrex Jr. eleventh is Matt Kenseth, twelfth, Kurt Busch thirteenth, Joe Legano fourteenth, Carl Edwards, Austin Dillon fifteenth, I'm in sixteenth, Kyle Busch is seventeenth, and that knocks Austin Dillon out. Carl Edwards will be eliminated thanks to Paul Menard, who is twenty fifth. And Ryan Truex is 32nd. So, yeah, the only drivers getting eliminated are uh, Dylan and uh, Edwards. And everyone from 13th on, on up is safe. Ha! Ah, they gave me the 27 car. Close enough. Alright, next week we're going to Pocono. I know I'm going to fall out of the top 16 there. Anyway, thank you all for watching so much. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you have not yet, make sure you turn on that notification bell icon so that way you're notified of all my uploads, whatever and whenever they may be. Follow me on social media. All my social media handles are in the description down below. But if you don't want to read them there, I got them for you here. It's Instagram and Tumblr. Yep, Instagram and Snapchat. At Alan Mooch. That's A-L-A-N underscore M-0-0-C-H. Twitter and Tumblr at SonicFan1750. Make sure you subscribe to my SonicFan1750 YouTube channel. Link to that, as well as all my friends who make YouTube video channels. Links to their channels in the description down below. So go check them out. Go subscribe to them. Tell them Loop sent you. Also, if you have not yet, make sure you check out my Twitch channel. That's Alan Mooch, A L A N underscore M 0 0 C H. We are, I am four followers away from 160. The goal is to take it 10 followers at a time, by the way. Um, so follow me on Twitch, turn on notifications there so that we get notified when I go live. That's Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays starting at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, although um, my schedule this week got borked up. So yeah, the only day I really got to start at normal stream time was Wednesday. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's Alan Mooch, A-L-A-N underscore m 0 0 ch but the same only as my Snapchat and my Instagram. Join my Discord server if you have not yet. Invite link to my Discord server in the description down below. And alright, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching so much. Don't forget to keep on dancing. Move your feet to the beat. And remember, until we get down the pipeline, I'm Alan. And I'm out of here. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Here comes the outro. We'll break it down now.